Hello Internet, Craig Chamberlain with CraigTheTechTeacher.com here. And guess what? We're talking about Windows 8 again today. And this is the Windows 8 series. We're going to be doing the missing manual from O'Reilly Books. So if you haven't yet picked up this book, make sure you click in the link below and check it out or buy it. And I will be walking through everything you need to know about Windows 8.1. And this is meant to be a comprehensive guide. And uh, today's video, I know you guys are thinking, Okay, maybe we'll actually get to use Windows 8 today. Uh, we're getting close, um, but we have to lay the foundation here, cover the basics, and uh, yeah, then we can get into the fun stuff. Um, but today we're gonna talk about the different editions of Windows. If you know Windows at all, you know that they release a million different versions typically along with uh, Windows operating system. So you had like Windows 7 Starter, and then Windows 7 Home, and then Windows 7 Pro, and then Windows 7 Ultimate, and then Windows 7 Ultimator, and then Windows 7 Ultimatist, and then you had Windows 7 Enterprise Edition. Uh, well, thankfully, they did away with a lot of that in the Windows 8 operating system. And um, there's really only two basic versions, or three basic versions. You have your Windows 8, your Windows 8 Pro, and you have Windows 8 RT. Now there is an enterprise version. There is an enterprise version, um, but uh, you won't ever have to use, worry about that unless you are in the corporate world and you're doing mass licensing and all that fun stuff. Uh, but in, in the differences between Home and Pro or Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro are like pretty much next to nothing uh, unless you are also in the business world. So essentially this is how it works. Uh, Windows 8 decided we're going to try to simplify this process. I'm glad they did. Uh, and they released two separate mainstream versions, Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro. Uh, Windows 8 is essentially your basic Windows operating system. It comes with all of the necessary features you need to get things really, really done, except for two or three features that are in Windows 8 Pro, which are for the mostly the business environment. And here are some of the things you don't get if you're using Windows 8. And most of you probably won't even know Windows 8 Pro. Most of you probably won't even really know what these features are because most of you probably do not use them. But Windows 8 Pro allows you to do remote desktop connections with Windows. Windows 8 Standard does not, neither does Windows RT. But Windows 8 Pro lets you do remote desktop with Windows, like the actual integrated remote desktop into Windows. Now you can still use your third party remote desktop software like TeamViewer or LogMeIn or whatever else you might use, Chrome, remote Chrome desktop or Chrome desktop. That all still work fine with Windows 8, but you can't use the integrated Windows one. That's only packaged with Windows 8 Pro. Now you can also with Windows 8 Pro join a corporate network. So if you have a domain or a Windows server domain, you can actually join in on that as long as you have Windows 8 Pro. If you do not have Windows 8 Pro, you will not get that connectivity. Windows 8 Pro also offers the encrypted filing sys file system, which lets you encrypt files at the desktop. Again, there's third-party tools that let you do this, uh, such as TrueCrypt, completely free. You can encrypt things at Pentagon levels with that software. And that also includes BitLocker and BitLocker to go. We're gonna talk about that a little later in the whole series of videos, but that's part of the encryption process, but again, Third-party services are out there for that. And um, finally, I know this is a deal breaker for some of you, but Windows 8 Pro has the option to buy Windows Media Center as a $10 download. So if you really, really wanted Windows Media Center, it's not going to happen with your standard Windows 8. Uh, you want to be, you'll still have to pay for it, though, if you buy Windows 8 Pro. Uh, but I think that's their way of phasing out Windows Media Center. Uh, so that's Windows 8 Pro versus standard Windows 8. Now, Windows 8 lets you do everything a Windows operating system has and more. You can install your software, you get all the tiles, you get everything with the Windows 8 software, except for those features. Now, here's the final catcher. Most of you just need Windows 8. Unless you need some of the services I just, I just read out loud, most of you just need Windows 8. It's as basic of a Windows operating system as you can get, and it's the latest and greatest, and all that good stuff. Now they have another version coming going out there and you gotta be careful for this one. It's called Windows 8 RT. And now they don't have a specific reasoning for calling it RT, they claim. Uh, I think it stands for runtime. I'm not the only one, but it doesn't matter. It's just a, a brand. But Windows 8 RT is what they put on their standard Surface tablets, their Surface RT tablets. This is not a full version of Windows 8. I repeat, it is not a full version of Windows 8. It is a lighter version of Windows 8, and it's only the tiles, and you can't install any software on it. I can't say it's only the tiles, but it's basically the interface, the UI. 
and you cannot install standard Windows software onto an RT, Windows 8 RT system. It's meant specifically for touchscreen devices. You can install apps, but you cannot, I, re I repeat, you cannot install Windows 8 software onto Windows 8 RT. That's why when you go to the store and check out the Windows tablets, there's one that's the Surface Pro, which is a couple hundred dollars more than the Surface RT, because the Surface Pro allows you to install Windows software on it. The Windows RT only allows you to use the apps from the Microsoft App Store. Something very important for you guys to know in the differences. So that's basically the different versions in a nutshell. You have Windows 8 RT, which is the most basic, not even technically Windows. I would call it Windows tablet, Windows 8 tablet, because it's only the, this. I think it's a piece of junk. To be honest with you, I don't see any value in that whatsoever. Uh, because the whole reason most people buy a Windows computer is so that they can use Windows software, and you cannot use Windows software on Windows 8 RT. So that's Windows 8 RT, and um, then you have Windows 8, which is your standard Windows operating system, comes with all of the features, except for the handful of features on Windows 8 Pro, which includes your remote desktop connections, your corporate network joining, such as Windows domains, uh, it offers the encrypted file system, which can be handled by third parties anyway, including BitLocker and BitLocker to go, which is more convenient because it's integrated. And Windows Media Center is an option for $10. I'm sure there's a couple other small features I missed there, but that's basically, in a nutshell, the difference between all of the Windows versions. So I want to thank you guys for coming out today. Again, uh, this is a patron-funded show. It's crowdfunded by all of you wonderful patrons out there for as little as $2 a month, which comes out to be like, 10 cents an episode per month um, you'll actually help support the show crowdfunded by all you guys so I can make it completely free I'm looking forward to the next video where hopefully we'll actually get our hands dirty we'll actually get into the Windows 8 operating system take a take a look at what they got going on in there and I'd also like to give a shout out to my top patrons uh, this month it will actually be Jacob Williams who is with wildacademy.com, who has great Ruby tutorials for those of you interested in programming. Also, Jacob is an interesting guy to follow. Got a lot of interesting stuff going on over there, as well as Brooke Quimby, or Brooke Chamberlain, sorry. Uh, she is with Ashley Beige Photography, and you can check her out on Google Plus or at ashleybeigephotography.com. There will be links in the video description. So thank you guys for coming out. I'll see you in the next Windows 8 video, or the next IT Life video, or the next who knows whatever else I might be doing.